With your weatherbug.com severe weather outlook, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. Storms tore across the upper Midwest yesterday, bringing extremely high wind gusts as well as torrential downpours. Looking at uh, the view from Rosemont, Minnesota, skies darkened as those storms came through, producing some very high wind and a tremendous amount of damage, especially around the Twin Cities. Still thousands of people without power as we uh, start the day today. And uh, looking back towards the Dakotas, 13 preliminary reports of tornadoes as well. Most of those clustered in eastern South Dakota. High reports of wind damage as well in those same areas. Rain will continue to be one of the big concerns throughout the next several days. Not only have many areas in central and southern Minnesota already picked up between 2 to 3 inches in the past 48 hours, but much more is on the way. So the ground is saturated. More rain coming on top of that will lead to a situation which may involve flash flooding, standing water along roadways, and messy uh, situations such as that. So flooding concerns, we do have flash flood watches in effect for all the green shaded areas extending from North Dakota down through northern Iowa uh, and into Wisconsin as well. More rain uh, in some of the same locations throughout the weekend. So the specific zone of concern for today, not all that different from yesterday, just shifted slightly southward. We're looking at some of the same threats with large hail, damaging winds, uh, Twin Cities, Green Bay, Sioux Falls, North Platte, all included in an area that encompasses up to 12 million people. By tomorrow, we extend that threat northward to include most of Minnesota and into Wisconsin and then dipping down into the northern portions of Kansas as well. And then even into Monday, some of these same areas will still be under the influence of a weather system that will be generating stronger storms. Briefly heading down to the south, where we're keeping an eye out on fire weather concerns. Very hot and dry conditions continue to lead to the spread of wildfires in these areas. We'll keep you posted right here.